Hey guys, it's Erica and I'm back with another video. So I was at the thrift store the other day and I may have bought quite a few books around eight or so, I don't know. So I decided I would do a book haul for you guys. I'm really excited to show you all the books, so I'll show you the books right now. The day before I bought all the books at the thrift store, I had actually bought another book from that thrift store the day before that as well. So that will be the first book I show you. And that book would be The Book Thief by Mark Zusick. I did already start reading this book. I mentioned it in my previous video. And so far, I love it so much. I had no idea this book was about the Holocaust. I literally thought it was about a person that stole books. Wow, my stomach just grumbled. Let's ignore that. And it is actually about a girl who, you know, steals books over time, but it's much more than that, and the writing is just so fan-freaking-tastic, I just, I can't. The next book I have, I picked up pretty much just because I like the cover. I do that quite a lot. When I see a pretty cover on a book, the only thing that goes through my mind is, I want it, it's mine, I need it, I'm gonna take it. And so that's not the smartest thing to do, because obviously you should read the inside flap and read the synopsis and decide, well, does it sound like a good book? I need to work on that more, obviously. But anyway, that book would be Blood Rides by Kristen Painter. Painter. It's a weird last name. Am I saying that wrong? I could be. So I really like this cover. I love the black and the red. I don't know if you can see, but on the person in this book, she has like designs all over her back. And I thought that was really neat. To tell you the truth, I don't know anything about this book. All I know is it is about vampires. It is the first book in a series, I think. So if I like it, I'm definitely gonna check out the next one. The next two books I got, you probably all know about. There's mixed reviews, people say they love it, they hate it, I don't really know, so I'm gonna give it a chance, and that is Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Angels and Demons is the first book, The Da Vinci Code is the second book, and as far as I know, I think The Lost Symbol is the third and final book, but they only had the first two, so I picked them up. To be honest, I know nothing about this series. I haven't even seen the movie. I've seen bits and pieces here and there, but I never actually sat down and watched it. If I read the books and I like them, then I might give the movie a chance. Another book I got, I thought actually looked really interesting. That would be Dome by Michael Reeves and Steve Perry. I thought the cover was really neat and stuff. I know that's a dolphin, but I don't know who the hell that is. Anyway. Apparently this book is about these people that are trapped in a dome at the bottom of the ocean. The people that are in the dome are people like scientists and technicians. Humanity has been destroying itself on land with bio-warfare and things like that. So these people are, are kind of the humanity's last chance at saving the world in this little um, dome underwater where they're safe and everything. Funny story regarding this book actually. I just read a book not too long ago called Breathe by Sarah Crossan and this is about where um, humanity um, has you know been destroyed because there's no oxygen anymore and people live in this uh, dome-like thing as well. So this is kind of really similar. I can tell that there's a lot of things about this book that are completely different but just that little coincidence really did make me laugh a bit. The next book I have is very science fiction-y, it's about robots, I love robots. It's book one, Odyssey of the Robot City series, I think, and it is by Isaac Asimov. Honestly, I can't pronounce his last name, like always, I can't pronounce anyone's last name, so here, I'll show it to you. If I like it, I will definitely continue the series. I hear it leaves off on a cliffhanger, so I'm most likely going to continue reading it. And yeah, I'm very excited. I'm so, so, so excited for this next book. Some of you may know I love pirates, everything pirates, anything pirates really. Someday if I ever show you guys my room, you will see how obsessed I am with pirates and it's, it's bad. It's really bad. Anyway, the book is Bloody Jack by L.A. Meyer. It's actually about a kid who joins a pirate ship, I think. But the twist is that the kid is actually a girl. And I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, when there's a girl on a, on a ship with pirates, they view that as bad luck, I guess. So she's kind of hiding her identity. Another series of pirates that I like is Vampires, and it's vampires and pirates put into one. So can you get more awesome than that? No. No, you can't you might be able to get more awesome than vampires and pirates. What about pirates and zombies? I was so weirded out when I saw this book. I was like, wait, this book is about 
zombies and pirates together and apparently this book is it is death hulk by matthew sprain so i'm gonna read it just because of that reason and you know i might like it who knows the last and final book I have is one that makes me feel really nostalgic, and that would be The X-Files, which is a TV show that I grew up watching with my parents when I was very young. I had no idea that there were books about The X-Files, so this is actually book one, and um, I'm so excited to read it. If, if any of you guys have heard of The X-Files or watched The X-Files, you were automatically amazing in my eyes. So that is it for my book haul today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I have quite a lot of books to read now, as you can tell. So this is going to take me some time. I'm not going to buy any new books for a while, I think. Well, maybe I will. Depends. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye!